Okay guys, um, this is the other video as promised. So um, this video is about um, sorry if I look away from time to time because I have this written down on a piece of paper. So um, this video will be about herbs that I've um, came across while researching about PCOS and I must state this before I go on, I am not a medical doctor or herbalist or anything like that. I have just been doing a lot of research over the years. Um, since um, those of you who have been watching my videos know that I have been diagnosed with PCOS for 12 years now. So I've had a whole lot of time to do a lot of research. and. Um, new findings so um, what I've been hearing about are these herbs so um, you can write them down I'll try to put the names in the description below so you can check them out for yourself um, always do your own research these are just guidelines to what I've found so you can always do your own research just to um, have a peace of mind okay don't just take my word for it but uh, I'm just sharing what I've learned with you um, since we're all in this together and we're all trying together so um, here goes I don't want this video to be too long so um, the first one is Vitex um, that's V-I-T-E-X and um, Vitex is good for uh, to stimulate and stabilize the function of the the pituitary gland which controls the release of LH um, it is not recommended to, to use with fertility treatments because it will heighten the effect so that um, may cause um, multiple births and stuff like that which um, some people will not mind that but it's it's risky so it is not recommended to take vitex with um, any fertility treatment that you may be taking presently um, vitex is is said to be one of the best treatments um, herbally for for PCOS and trying to conceive so it's worth looking into um, the other one is dandelion roots and this is a great liver tonic. This helps cleanse your liver and remove the buildup and toxins that accumulate. Uh, so um, we all know our bodies have toxins in them based on what is around us and what we have eaten and what we're breathing in and stuff like that. So it is always good to rid our bodies of toxins. That is something I um, have been looking into. So I want to do that. There are, there are ways that you can do that in terms of like um, fastings and stuff like that, detoxing your body. So you may want to try that out. Okay, you have juice detoxins and, and stuff like that. But um, the dandelion root is a very good one, they say, to rid your body of the toxins, to rid your liver of all those toxins and stuff and then that would um, stabilize your body in terms of your hormones and you all know that PCOS has to do with hormone your hormones being imbalanced and stuff like that or unbalanced sorry so it is always best to have your your body cleansed so it can deal with getting rid of all those bad things that you don't want inside you while you're trying to conceive and uh, so forth so um, number three is the milk thistle so probably you, you a lot of you guys probably have heard about milk thistle and um, this is a key herb for the liver this is also for the liver um, get rid ridding your body of the toxins and stuff like that also um, this is an important treatment for PCOS so I'm reading what I wrote off so forgive me for looking away um, from time to time 
I'm doing this video from YouTube from my webcam so um, forgive me if the quality is not that well but I'm working on starting something out, okay so um, it also helps the liver cells against damage and promotes healing and damaged damaged cells this improves the overall function of your liver and we all know that our liver is responsible for cleaning our body that is where the waste um, from our body comes through our liver so when our liver is in good health it makes things much better for us and easier for us when we're trying to conceive especially with PCOS um, the fourth one is saw palmetto and uh, this regulates your estrogen levels um, it's good for removal of a um, reduction in facial hair um, the excessive hair and stuff like that those male pattern here and and so forth which I suffer from also so I am definitely looking into that one so that's saw palmetto that's s-a-w p-a-l-m-e-t-t-o yeah that is very good um, and it has with weight loss also and restores your energy levels so you know PCOS because I've realized that um, recently uh, more so I started taking some multivitamins I'm not sure if that's the cause but I've been feeling extremely tired and I notice if I don't get some rest I have headaches and I feel like really 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 sick so I don't know um, but it is said that with PCOS you your, your energy level goes down you feel very tired uh, and and so forth so saw palmetto is good for a couple things with PCOS um, white puny tea I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly that's white um, p e o n y t that's T-E-A, tea that you drink. Um, influence influence um, lowering progesterone levels as well as reduce elevated androgen. That's um, the testosterone level. And, um, and acts to regulate estrogen and prolactin levels. So that is also very good for PCOS. And... Um, um gymnema <laughs> uh, as i said i'll put the names in the description below so you can check them out for yourself this is said to lower insulin levels reduce the sweet taste and your taste buds on your taste buds therefore reducing your sweets craving and uh, your um, bad carbs intake so it is good for insulin resistance and it is often referred to as the herbal form of metformin so that is great so that's um G Y M N E M A gymnema or gynema I don't know <laughs> so that's it guys no matter how much I try to make these videos short they always end up so long I'm sorry but I um, just wanted to give you guys that information so check them out do your research and see if it's something that you would want to try I'm still contemplating whether I want to go the doctor's way or go the herbal way um, I've heard some success stories with the herbal way and also with the doctor's way but we all know that drugs come with a lot of side effects and the herbals are very unlikely to have side effects if any so hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave your comments below and if there are any more herbs that you know of then you can add them below also and uh, thank you for watching and baby dust to all god bless bye bye